Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Kaylin's Thought. In this episode, I'm really excited to be discussing my celebrity crushes. There's, there's a lot. <laughs> I am very sexual, so that makes it like double the amount because I like girls. <laughs> and it's really, really hard. We're going to start off with girls. So, Blake Lively. You don't know who Blake Lively is. She played Serena Vanderutsen on Gossip Girl. The original Gossip Girl because there's a reboot of... I don't want to call it a reboot because it's like remade with different actors and crap. I don't like it. I hate that. Re the reboot. But uh... See what's in the original Gossip Girl. And you might know her another way. She is Ryan Reynolds' wife. Which is crazy that she married Ryan Reynolds. Uh, the way that I guess they got connected and became friends because they were friends first before they became girlfriend and boyfriend and then fiance and then husband and wife. Uh, she was his co-star in the Green Lantern movie. And they didn't think about each other in like a dateable relationship, like girlfriend, boyfriend kind of way. So I believe like it was like like a year and a half after like, like we're single. And then like Lively has said this in the interviews and so is Ryan Reynolds. Like, it took like a year and a half before they were like, oh, we could date each other. And that's what like Lively likes about the relationship is that they're friends first. She said that in interviews and she quoted it the way I quoted it, like verbatim. But I have a fucking crush on this a lot. And I feel guilty. So if I meet to Ryan Reynolds, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna take Blake Lively from now. But, uh, yeah. Blake Lively, number one. What well, number one? Blake Lively's, like, number three. Number one is Megan... Megan? Fox. Like, could, how could somebody not have a crush on Megan Fox? Yes, she is dating Machine Gun Kelly, and Machine Gun Kelly is incredibly lucky. But so is every guy that C has dated. Like, wow. I know her kids are gonna turn out like they're gonna grow up to be gorgeous people. That's just that's just it. But uh Megan Fox is another girl across the head and don't really feel guilty about that one like everybody has a crush on Mega Fox so I just don't feel guilty because everybody does but uh another person is Rachel from Friends aka Jennifer and Antistin why can't I say her name Jennifer Antiston. Why can't I say her last name? I think I'm just not realizing that I've never been able to say her last name. I think I'm just not realizing that. Because I've never like really try and pronounce her last name. I guess I'm not thinking about it when I try to say her last name, but I just say it. Antist and Nithin. Jennifer and and Nithin. I can't say your last name for some reason. And I'm sorry I can't. But uh see another one. C 
some about her. Mm. And then we gonna move on to uh well hang on. There's another Jennifer before. Jennifer Lopez. How could I go on without saying Jennifer Lopez? Like, Ben, her husband is like so fucking lucky. Every guy that Jennifer Lopez has dated is lucky. But we're gonna move on to the men crosses. Number one, we're gonna start off with is Chad Michael Murray. I mean, I think he's kind of hot and like when he was younger, but he's like, He's really, really, to me, has, like, grown up to be, like, 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 I think he's hotter at the age he is now. Like, he's so hot right now. Like, every clip I see of him that's been recently taken and posted on the internet, he's so fucking hot. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul that... Him and Sophia, Sophie Bros, were able. Sophia, is it Sophia? I, I get Sophie and Sophia confused a lot because the names are very similar. So this is Sophia. Sorry, I'm like, like Sophia Bush. Okay. Like, I already stated that they were never able to make their marriage work because they ended up divorcing. Like, I didn't even think, I don't even think it was like a full year later. But it is what it is. Uh, crust number two Cole Sprouse. I don't know something about Cole Sprouse. I've always had a crust on him. Recently, though, I've started to have a crust on Dylan Sprouse, which I never thought in a gazillion years. I would have a crust on Dylan Sprouse, but I do, and I have a crust on Strun Brother, but they are twins, so like, how could you only have a crust on Dylan or on Cole and not have a crust on Dylan? Like, they both look similar. Like, one day, Cole can look like Dylan, and the other day, Dylan can look like Cole. Like, so it's like, depends on what the- on what they look in, like, the day. On who I have a curse on, I guess you could say. But, uh... Yeah. Okay. Another guy. I have a curse on. There's Blake Sultan. Yes. The country singer. He lives in the same, in the same city I do, but the town he lives in is like three hours away from where I live, so... That sucks, but, uh, Blake something. I don't know, I've, like, ever since I've known Blake something, I've had a crush on him. It was weird. But it is what it is. But Kevin Costner, yes, the guy from Yellowstone. <laughs> What's with me? Like, I feel like I ha have a crush on, like, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old dudes. I don't know why I just for some odd reason. There might be something totally wrong with me for that, but uh, everybody that's like older, I guess, you could say, I, uh, like they're just attractive to me for some weird reason. They just are. This is like, I want to figure out why that is. But if you ask me if I have a crush on any of the Kardashian people, I'm like sisters, the clan. I'm gonna have to say, I mean, Chloe's cute, I guess you can say Chloe Kardashian. But I never really cared about them in that way of attractiveness. I mean, Chloe recently she's becoming cuter and cuter. Hotter and hotter, I guess you could say so. I guess you could say I have a crush on Chloe. But that's about it. Like, Courtney, Ken, Kylie Kendall, now. 
Chris? No. Uh, I would just feel a little weird having a crush on Chris. Less something. Um, I would feel strange about all the why I just would. But, uh, Taylor Swift has always been hot to me for some odd reason. I think everyone thinks Taylor Swift is fucking beautiful. Especially the pictures that have been posted from her heiress, heiress tour. She's smoking. And Joe Allen has lost big time. And yes, yeah, so what I did find out about that. That they broke up when the news came out. I was incredibly devastated and sad. I did, I guess you could say I grieved. Over. I hate the, the, the way that sounds, but uh, it's sad. They broke up and the songs who was writing them about him made, made their relationship sound way to like a billion times stronger than I guess the way it sounded, the way it people are saying the way it ended was the way people are saying it, it ended it was just like slowly like they just slowly stopped being a relationship. I don't know how you how you would say it. But they slowly stopped, I guess, caring for each other in a relationship kind of way. Which sucks, but, uh, Taylor Swift, what sources have been saying is Taylor Swift is fine. And Taylor Swift, a fan asked, I guess, using a poster, I don't really remember, like, are you okay? And then Taylor Swift gave a thumbs up to that person. A AKA meaning she's fine, she's A okay. But like, she has to be kind of sad because it is the end of a, a relationship, like it or not. And that really does suck. Because I always thought that one day Taylor Swift and Joe Owen would get engaged and then get married and then have kids. And that's just not the way it has happened. Which a lot of people were shocked by because like I just said, she's written a, a lot of songs about Joe Alwyn. One of them be London Boy. And then Cornelia Street. But now, one of the songs that wasn't about him is about him. A.K.A. The one with the basically strings on that song. It would have been fun if he would have been the one. Which, it is devastating. Even though it's like been like a month since that news has been out, it's still sad. Because everybody thought they were, I guess you could say, end game. And now I'm pretty sure everybody's wondering who she's going to go off and date next. Like, Taylor Swift has dated like every guy that everybody wanted her to date, I guess you could say. So I have no clue if she was to go off and date somebody again, who it would be. Like, she can't go off and date no person who's not part of the celebrity world because what a sor one of the sources said that one of the many reasons why they broke up is because Joe wanted a private life and he couldn't get, really get that because Taylor Swift is so like big and public and this public eye that he just wasn't gonna get this quiet life ever. So Taylor Swift couldn't give that to him. So he was like, I'm out or whatever happened. So uh, if she was to go off and date somebody, it would have to be somebody that's in the celebrity world that could kind of handle it or f like fully handle it. So like, I'm like, well, who, who, who is single that is in the celebrity world that could, that I think could handle it? And I don't really know, like, one of the Kardashian people, I don't know, like, 
Imagine Scott Disick went off and did it to his That would like, that would be like, that would be so weird to me. That would be so strange to me. I mean, I think Scott Disick and Taylor Swift are around the same age, I think. Not a thousand percent sorry. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Don't come for me. Don't like, don't come hate it for me. Please don't, but uh... That would be strange if Scott Disick and Taylor Swift started dating. That would blow my mind. I would like probably throw her up <laughs> because I would be so shocked. I wouldn't be like, I'm not saying I would be gross, I would be like just shocked. To the point where I would throw up. But, uh, if Harry Styles is single, to give it another shot with him, I'm pretty sure I like one or two. I've never, I don't know why, I've never been a fan of the fact that she did date Harry Styles. So I just think, oh, cool, if she did date Harry Styles, that's cool. That's cool. I not really, don't really care. But, with her and Jill Alwyn, I cared so much. And every time, like, engagement rumors came out, I got so, so happy. And when it basically, like, even though it never got denied, aka confirmed, it still broke me hurt because I had, like, I knew that it wasn't true. It, it obviously wasn't true because we ended up breaking up, not calling off a fucking engagement or getting a divorce. I mean, y'all were probably saying they could come back together later in life. I'm like, like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck did. And yeah, that could happen, but I don't really picture it with them, with least to it happening because what in her life? Like, she's always gonna be this big public figure, and like, even when she's 90, if hopefully, knock on wood, she is, she does live to be like a thousand. Like, she's always gonna be that, even if she did live to be a thousand years old, she would be in this public life if she was a thousand years old. So, like, so I was never going to get the quiet life he wants out of the public life. And I'm like, to me, I'm like, if you want to be kept out of this public eye, why are you a freaking actor? Like, you know, being an actor, one of the things that happens is you become famous and you're put into this public eye. Like, he probably wasn't expecting to, like, start dating Taylor Swift after I don't know her. But he knew that it was already a pretty much a big thing whenever they did start dating. So, he knew at some point that this was going to last forever because he, because he was going to get tired of this. Him being forced to be in the public eye. And everybody is now assuming that he cheated on Taylor Swift. And I'm just like... I think you all are just like pulling stuff out of the air because you want like a definitive answer, like you want a real answer to why they broke up. And I don't think Joe Alwyn would be the kind of because that's real fucked up if he did do that. But I, I, my opinion, my thought is he didn't cheat on her. Like I just don't. Like, I just don't see that happening where he did cheat on her. Like, that would be horrible if that is what happened. And the sources are not saying shit about it. Because they want to keep his image clean. And they don't want him to have a bad image. And same for Taylor. They don't ever, like... So they're gonna not say crap about cheating. And they haven't. I mean, no more news about their breakup has come out. Like, uh, sources aren't coming out to see more shit about their breakup, which is to be expected because 
the saying like it just happened naturally and another reason is he wanted a quiet life so when it happened he was like okay I'm gonna get what I want now a quiet life but I'm gonna bring episode 2 to a close here I'll see y'all in episode 3 I will give you a head about what episode 3 is gonna be but I have no idea so it'll be like I guess we can call it a surprise episode and I'm posting episodes every Monday so I'll see y'all next Monday with a new episode peace guys bye